what is it guys patch right here in today's video we're going to be talking about how to make a gaming channel and we'll be explaining to you guys how to make your gaming channel the best as possible uh just starting off and i'm telling you guys right now it's not going to be super cheap uh you will have to buy some things if you guys want to start your channel off the best as possible and help it grow faster um and keep viewers staying in your channel so um, the most important thing about starting a YouTube channel is being professional and what I mean by this is your YouTube channel name, your channel art, your mic quality, your video quality, your thumbnail, your title and titling your videos correctly. It just goes on. The list goes forever and um, I'm going to be explaining some of those things I just said and um, so yeah, I'm going to be telling you guys the fastest way to um, get really good at YouTube, things like that. So <clears throat> I'm going to be starting you guys off. Um, the best way as possible. Um, I've been doing YouTube for almost two years now. Um, I've been doing it for about a year, year and maybe six months. I think a year and six months, something like that. Um, somewhere around there. Almost two years. Um, so I've been doing this for quite some time. So the first thing you want to do is uh, brand yourself. What I mean by that is name your channel and mine is Petrified TV. I name mine off of my Call of Duty name. So uh, that's how I got my name, Petrify, and I turned into Petrify TV on YouTube. Uh, you want to uh, brand your channel. You want to name your channel something that is catchy or something that means something to you, things like that. I recommend no numbers. I recommend something that looks professional. Pro maybe even your guys' nickname if you guys want to do that. Um, just make sure it looks nice and it's kind of catchy. People remember you uh, by that name. And just think about this. If I had this name and I had a million subscribers, would this match my million subscribers? Think, kind of think like that. Um, does this name look like it could be a big YouTube channel later in the future? Think about that. That's what I usually think about. Um, I think my channel could be a big YouTube channel just by my name. Uh, not just by my name, but like people could remember my name easily. Another thing that you guys will need when you're starting off your YouTube channel is channel art. You need to make sure your channel art is really nice. And what I mean by that is your YouTube banner and your YouTube logo. Um, if you guys are wondering what that is, you can go to my channel. Um, you can see my YouTube banner art um, and you can see my YouTube logo. So uh, that is very important because you want to keep uh, people coming back. It makes you look professional. Like I said, being professional is really important about on YouTube. Um, so looking professional is a very important thing. Another thing that can help you guys is mic quality. Um, as you guys can see, my mic quality is pretty good. It's not the best. Um, I'm working on it. Um, it takes a while to save up for the mics, uh, the stuff that I'm trying to get from my YouTube channel, uh, because this is my pride and joy. Uh, my YouTube channel is my pride and joy. I want everything to be perfect. Uh, and if you want everything to be perfect, your channel will soon grow. Uh, the better your channel looks, the better your channel is, the better your channel brings back uh, viewers. Uh, fast you grow so um, my quality is a very important thing um, and you will want to do commentaries or live commentaries things like that and what I mean by that is talking over your videos over your gameplay or uh, doing a live commentary which is uh, talking over your videos while playing at the same time uh, that is a live commentary um, you will want to always upload a commentary gameplay no matter what um, you just don't want to upload gameplay with game sound. Um, people won't really enjoy that. Unless it's a brand new game and they haven't seen any gameplay of it, they won't enjoy it. They want you guys to talk about something. They want you to interact with them and things like that. So you guys want to do commentaries. Now here is something that is very important about your channel. Uh, this will cost a little bit of money. Like I said, it's not going to be very cheap uh, when you first start off a YouTube channel. Um, if you guys want the best quality possible. Now, um, you guys probably think you can just use a web camera to record your gameplay, record your TV. That's not how it works. Um, if you did that, you're going to have terrible video quality. Don't even start your YouTube channel if you're going to do that. Um, you will not grow, trust me. Nobody will enjoy your videos. Uh, what you will need is a capture card. A capture card is basically you plug it into your Xbox or your PS4, etc., whatever. Um, plug it into your TV slash monitor, into your computer. Um, your laptop or your desktop and basically you record um, and these capture cards uh, go from 200 to 100, 110, 120 
Um, I'll put all the links down below to the cheapest and the most expensive capture cards. I'll put all of this down below to Amazon and all the websites to get them from the original uh, sellers. I'll do all of that for you guys so you guys don't have to search everywhere for the capture cards. Um, the best capture card you can get on the market right now is the Elgato HD60. Um, it records in 1080p, 60fps um, on any game, so uh, it's pretty good. The cheapest one is probably about $120. It's a Roxio HD Pro. I don't recommend this. I have it. That was my first capture card I ever bought, and it wasn't good. Trust me. It's not worth buying unless you guys absolutely have to. Alright, so all the capture cards down below in the description. Uh, I'll have links to all of them for the cheapest possible and the most expensive. You guys want to go all out. Um, and another thing that you guys will have to do is thumbnails. Thumbnails uh, will attract te people to your videos, uh, and what I mean by thumbnails is the thing that people see before uh, they click on your video. Um, as you guys could see on this uh, on this video, as you guys could see um, a picture saying how to start a gaming channel. So that's what that's what a thumbnail is. Um, I have thumbnails on pretty much all my videos. I started doing this about three months ago and I got a lot more views when I did it so uh, thumbnails are very important it attracts people if they're colorful um, and bright and vibrant um, it will attract people to your videos here is another really good tip for you guys uh, this is another very important uh, thing that you have to do when you do start a YouTube channel and when you do upload um, titling your videos correctly and what I mean by this is titling your videos uh, nice and professional um, what I used to do is go to bigger YouTube channels and see how they title their videos and kind of uh, base my titles off of theirs, not copy their titles, uh, just see how they spelled out things, things like that, how they uh, put, uh, how they just typed out their titles. That's basically what I did and that helped me out a lot with titling my videos. If you guys want to keep your channel going, keep bringing back viewers, you want to be a consistent uploader. And what I mean by this is uploading uh, at least every single day. Um, if you can't upload every single day, uh, at least three times a week, um, that's probably the best that you're going to get. If you upload every single day, you have a better chance of growing faster, so I definitely recommend a daily upload. And since you are going to be uh, uploading three times a week, every single day, every other day, however you guys want to upload, uh, just make sure you upload a lot and you stay to it, you don't stop. Um, you do not grow fast on YouTube right away. It takes a long time uh, because there's a ton of people making videos and it's hard for them to find your videos. You want to have an uploading schedule where you upload the same time every single day. And if you guys are wondering how you do this, basically you can go on YouTube, you can upload it. And before you upload it, you can uh, go on the right hand side of the screen. Uh, you can click on an arrow and it'll bring down a bunch of different settings. So you can go private, public, uh, unlisted, and you can also do schedule. You can schedule your videos uh, to upload at the same time every single day. You can do this beforehand. Uh, you can do it a week before you. Uh, you can do a week's worth of videos and schedule all of them for each day at the same time, which is pretty cool. Maybe I'll make a video on that. If you guys don't know how to do it, just put a comment down below if you guys need help with that, and I will make the video. All right, this is very important about your YouTube channel if you want to interact with your viewers um, or if they want to stay connected to you. Uh, you want to make a social media uh, accounts for your YouTube channel. What I mean by this, your Twitter, your Facebook, uh, a Facebook page, not your actual Facebook, Instagram, um, anything like that. You guys got to make um, things based off your YouTube channel and make sure they're based off of your channel name. Mine is at Petrified TV on Twitter. Uh, it's Facebook.com slash Petrified TV, um, Twitch.tv, I Petrified TV. Make sure all your social media is based off your channel name so people can find you easily, easier and it looks more professional. I should have said this earlier, but you guys will need a laptop or a desktop. If you guys do not have a laptop of your own or a desktop of your own, you will have to borrow your mom or dad's, grandma, grandpa's, whoever's, uh, because you do have to edit your videos. You had to record on a desktop or a laptop and you had to edit on your desktop or laptop. And depending on what kind of computer you have, you will need an editing software. Uh, there's so many different ways to get around this. Just go on YouTube, type in uh, best editing software, or I'll just leave links down below to editing softwares or uh, 
channels to watch videos uh, about editing software so you guys can uh, find your best editing softwares. Um, I def definitely recommend Movie Maker uh, or iMovie. Uh, you can get on the you can get on the Apple computers or the um, or you can get Movie Maker on Windows 8 or Windows 10, whatever you guys have, Windows 7, etc. If you have Windows, you guys can get I, uh, Movie Maker. So, uh, Movie Maker is probably something really good for you guys to start off with. Um, I personally use Sony Vegas, but that is very expensive. There are ways to get around the price range, but you guys will have to look that up on your own uh, because I will not get in trouble for uh, linking you guys to the video. Alright, last thing is interacting with your viewers. Basically, if your viewers comment down below in your videos, uh, reply to them. And when you reply to them, make them want to come back to their videos and reply again. So that means they're coming back to watch your videos um, and they're also interacting with you. It's very important for you to interact with your viewers. Um, they'll come back to your channel and uh, they'll even tell your friend, tell their friends about your channel and maybe they'll come and interact with you too. If you get any game suggestions, um, I definitely rec recommend you to recommend them. Uh, if your viewers really want you to play them, um, it can help you grow. And um, I'm not saying go out and pay $60 to play a game that one viewer wanted. I'm saying if somebody said play Dying Light and then you got uh, about 10 people liking his comment saying play uh, Dying Light, then I definitely recommend you to play Dying Light. Um, but uh, yeah. But those are my tips to start off a YouTube channel. Um, I start off my YouTube channel by with bad quality and it didn't go well. Uh, but as soon as I got better quality videos, my channel blew up. And uh, yeah, so the things that we went over is being professional. Um, your channel name, your channel art, your mic quality, your video quality, uh, your thumbnails, titling your videos correctly, upload schedule, being consistent uh, with your video uploads, uh, your links, social media, um, laptop slash desktop, a little bit of money. Uh, it will cost a little bit of money, like I said. It's going to cost you uh, probably about $200 for, or $250 at least for a good mic and a good capture card. And uh, last thing uh, interacting with your viewers this will help you grow your channel uh, pretty fast um, and is the best way to grow your channel um, you'll bring people back to your channel to watch again uh, and over and over again but uh, leave down in the comments if you guys want any more uh, tutorials or uh, you want me to give you more information slash uh, tips on anything I definitely will do the video or if you guys want me to uh, make a video on how to grow your channel fast, um, I will also do that. But that's going to be the end of this video. If you guys did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe. Talk to you guys later in the next video. Peace out.